All right, listen. So I was working on the car and I realized that the dipstick is ugly. Jesus, I look like a fucking clapped out fucking billboard. Oh, for the love of God. All right, so the car needs a new dipstick. As I was saying, you can see, I don't know, I think it's just ugly and out of the way and too tall and it's got a giant yellow handle that says engine oil on it. But uh, what I want to do is cut it down to about right here somewhere. At least level with the edge of the valve cover, if not just a little bit lower. So I'm going to try to cut this down and then make a new top for it which I have an idea for which is this I was looking for a top of some sort I was gonna use a screwdriver handle cuz screwdriver dwivel dwivel screwdriver handle because that's what I used on the 1j car but I'm gonna use this which is a bearing race which I found at work and then I decided to make it mine So what we're going to do is we're going to powder coat that black and then we're going to attach this. We'll probably just glue it from the inside and then I've got to shorten the dipstick and find a way to fashion this to the dipstick. And that's what we're going to try to do. If I can pull this off, it'll look cool. If not, welcome to my failure. Step one, remove dipstick cut shit off of it step two pray step three clean up both pieces step four weld the end back on and grind it down but don't grind too much because you'll grind too much away and then it'll break and that doesn't focus very good yes I know it looks a little bit crooked but that's kind of the angle it was following so I kept that all right now I just need to clean this up a little more. Sandblast this, I guess, and powder coat it too, cause my arm doesn't bend that far. Cause we like to overdo everything around here. So before I took it apart, I don't know if you can see this. I marked it, I actually scribed it and then I put tape on it so it'd be easier to mark. That was the very end of the tube. Right there. So, back to where I was. I have a dipstick. All I've done is cut it. Focus. So I cut it and then I tack welded it. Yes, I've welded the dipstick. All right, so that's not gonna focus. So anyway, I'm gonna weld that a decent way because I don't know how well it's kind of well to be honest and then uh and we'll go from there I'll start putting my topper on it I forget what step I'm on but the next step is to mutilate your handle and I took a razor blade and put some scuffs on it because I'm pretty sure we're just gonna JB weld this into there like that but oop jb weld it all up and then i'll have my fancy schmancy handle one a dip a stick boom i still got a powder coat that and i'll be ready to go boom dipstick handle is done or dipstick and handle So it still has the factory. I'll put the O-ring back on it. Don't mind my crappy weld. I'm going to clean that up a little bit where I had to stitch it back together. And I still got to add some more there. But that part is done. The logo on the top. It presses down there like it's supposed to. And then the bottom. If I can hold this so you can see. Because I taped this when I pulled it apart and I scribed it. 
So I'm exactly where it was past the tube when I started. So all I gotta do is chuck my rings on there and put this, put this back in. And then we're done. Easy peasy. So, um, I say so a lot. I don't really know why, I just say so. So, uh, anyway, if you like the video, um, like it and comment and subscribe and all that stuff like you're supposed to do on YouTube, I guess. I don't know. But uh, check out Clapped Out. Those are some funny dudes, and they've got T-shirts and hoodies and stuff for sale. And can't shit your pants if you're naked. <laughs>